In the health beat, the number of people with high blood pressure has dropped up dramatically ever since health experts redefined it late last year. Your blood pressure is considered high now if it's 130 over 80. It's based on new data, especially for older people. Uh oh, it's going to be high again because it went high. Phyllis Liebert has been fighting high blood pressure for more than a decade. She's taken different medications, she eats right and exercises, but it's still a daily battle. When I have high blood pressure, I mean, when if it's over 120 or consistently, I feel tireder. I don't have as much energy. I mean, I kind of sense that it's not. Right. Now she'll have to work harder to make her numbers. Her new suggested lower goal is 120 over 80. Geriatrics researcher Mark Supriano was part of the trial that it targeted 120 systolic blood pressure, the higher number for older people. The major results from the trial suggested that there was a dramatic improvement in benefit for preventing cardiovascular disease, so heart attack and stroke. And in addition, there was a reduction in all-cause mortality. Incidents of heart attack, heart failure, stroke, and cardiovascular disease dropped 25% in the trial, 33% in folks older than 75. The results so dramatic, the five-year trial ended at only three. Dr. Supriano says many patients did add a medication to get a lower blood pressure, but none of it caused more negative effects. Both the doctor and Phyllis agree that a healthy lifestyle is the best medicine and that it's never too late to make changes. People need to know that they can change, and if they do change, they'll feel a lot better. Now to get there, doctors want you to use an automated blood pressure cuff. Take multiple readings and check your pressure at home often.